Bismillahirrahman Rahim. In this video, we will be solving example 6.20 from Mr. Sedra's book. And this is on the request of a student. So, first of all, before we solving the question, uh, let's discuss some theoretical concepts. In the question, it is said that we wish to design the bias network of the amplifier given here. So, what what does it mean to design a bias network is actually we have to find value of R1, R2, RE and RC. So for that we will take help of uh, uh, Thevenin's theorem. First of all writing VCC because VCC on both. And then as you know for Thevenin we separate the load. So I am considering this to be the load. We are separating the load and then Voltage here is V Thevenin. So we will calculate V Thevenin. From here you can calculate by voltage division rule. So v Thevenin, which is also VBB, is the total voltage divided by total resistance multiplied by this resistance R2. And for R Thevenin, we know that we have to short circuit or the eliminate the source make it zero, so taking it zero. And now looking at the point from where we separated the load from here, you can see that this and this branch is also connected to ground. So these two are in parallel. Therefore, R Thevenin is parallel of R1 and R2, which by solving we get this answer. So now that we have got V Thevenin and R Thevenin, our Thevenin circuit will look like this. And now we can connect the load that we had separated and we can solve it. So we were here, this is our the new circuit, and these are the two values that we had calculated. Now our aim is first of all to find IE. But to find IE, we use this loop, write the KVL equation. So KVL equation from here going negative. VBB and then IVRB, then VBE and then IERE. Separating the voltages and since we need to find IE, therefore we will convert this IB also in terms of IE. We know from this uh, circuit that IB plus IC is equal to IE. IC is actually beta times IB. Taking common IB, we get this relation from here, we get relation for IE. Uh, IB is IE over beta plus 1. We will plug in this value here. So putting in, taking IE common, our final answer for IE will be this formula. So we will be using this formula for solving questions. Now there are two points that need to be discussed here. First of all, to make IE insensitive to temperature in beta variation, that means to make the circuit stable, we design the circuit to satisfy the following two conditions. First condition is that this has to be greater, higher, that means VBB should be greater, greater than VBE. And the second condition is that RE should be greater than this beta term. So we'll discuss uh, each of them one by one. So the first one here, question is how large should be VBB? Okay, now if you look at this circuit here, we can write the relationship or the equation here VCC minus ICRC because here the, the there is a phase inversion and that is why we are using minus sign in an NPN transistor. So it is minus ICRC plus VCB is equal to VBB. Now if we keep this VCC constant then if we increase VBB then we have to reduce IB ICRC and this value of VCC B is actually almost constant. So increasing VBB, which we want, 
will decrease ICRC. Now we don't want to decrease ICRC too much because actually our signal amplifies here. We want the voltage across RC to be large to obtain a high voltage gain. So there is a conflicting requirement and we have to make a compromise trade-off and that trade-off is we'll use this rule of thumb and that says that we can take VBB this voltage to be one third of VCC. We can take VCB, VCB this voltage or VCE this voltage also one third and we can take ICRC one third. So this is one third of VC. So we'll be using these. The next one was that RE should be greater greater than RB over beta plus one. Now how do we achieve this? Okay, and this will actually make here also IE to be insensitive of the variations. Now, this can be made greater if we reduce Rb. And Rb, as we have learned, is parallel of R1 and R2. So, if we reduce R1 and R2, then we reduce Rb. That means Re will be greater in comparison to this term. Now, there is a negative side of it as well. If we reduce these two resistances, there will be large current flowing through this divider network. A lower value of R1 or R2 will mean a higher current drain from the supply and will also result in a lowering of the input resistance. Now, since th these two in parallel are the input resistance, therefore the circuit input resistance will be lower and which is not desirable in most cases because the previous circuit which is attached to this will load this circuit. Anyway, so this conflicting requirement here also will take a trade-off. And that trade-off is that we will design or select the value of R1 and R2 such as to get the voltage divider current that is current in this to be one-tenth of IE or 0 0.1 of IE. So this condition also we have to use. In the question. Okay, so now coming to the question, we wish to design the bias network for the amplifier this, i.e. we want to be 1 milliampere and the power supply voltage given is 12 volt, beta is given 100. So for designing as we discussed we need to find R1, R2, RE and RC. Rule of thumb, which we have already discussed. Using this rule of thumb, Vb, the voltage here, will be Vcc over 3. That means it will be 4 volt. And what is Vb? Here it is Vb. This is Vc, this is Ve, this is Vbe. Now if you apply this rule of thumb, we can also write the voltages. The voltage here, 4. VCB, this voltage is also 4 volt. ICRC is also 4 volt. And VC is 4 plus 4 is 8 volt. Okay, now we need to find R. To find I, R E, we need to find VE. VE from here is VB, that is 4 volt minus VBE. 4 minus VB is and 4 minus 0 0.7, we know VBE is always 0 0.7 for silicon transistor. So VE is 3.3 .3 volt. And so RE is VE over IE. IE is 1 milliampere. Should have written milliampere. Anyway, the answer will be now 3.3 .3 kilo ohm. So RE we have found. And now we need to find R1, R2 and RC. So we'll use now uh, the second condition uh, that is to we have to design or select a current of one tenth IE for designing this circuit. So one tenth or 0 0.1 of IE will be 0 0.1 milliampere. So this current, the voltage divided current, 
is 0 0.1 milliampere. So the total resistance is voltage divided by the current is 120 kilo. That means R1 plus R2 will be 120 kilo. We also have a relation that VB is equal to by voltage division rule VCC divided by R1, R2 multiplied by R2. We have already discussed already. Now putting in the values VB is 4 volt. VCC is 12, R1 plus R2, 120. So from here we calculate R2 to be 40 kilo. And from this relation, we find R1 to be 80 kilo. So RE, R1 and R2 we have found. But we have assumed the IE to be 0 0.1 of I, uh, sorry, the, the voltage divider current, we have assumed it to be 10% uh, of IE. But let's see what is the effect of that. This is the actual uh, current equation. Without neglecting this value, putting in all the values RB, so IE, comes to be 0 0.93 milliampere. But we wanted or the question says that we should design it for 1 milliampere. So how to get over this dilemma? The simplest technique is that we reduce this resistance RE uh, from 3.3 to a value less than this value. So if we subtract uh, 2.67 from 3.3, .3, we could say that our RE should be 3.03 .03 here. So this was the uh, earlier calculation. Now if we calculate with this RE, then IE will be 1 milliampere. So this value is then acceptable. So these three now we have calculated. Now uh, what is left is RC, again rule of thumb, ICRC was 4 volt or from here we can also write that ICRC is 12 minus VC which is 8 volt. But we should know the value of IC, we don't know but we know this formula that IC is alpha times IE. We don't know alpha, but we know beta, and alpha is beta over beta plus 1, so alpha can be calculated to be 0 0.99. So putting here, IC will be 0 0.99 milliampere, which is approximately 1 milliampere. And from this formula, ICRC is 4 volt, IC is 1 milliampere, and therefore RC is 4 kilo. Similarly, you can putting a VC is equal to 8 volt, we will get the same answer. So, the final circuit would now look like this R1, R2, RE, and RC. I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.